What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. In this video, we're gonna use the opacity input to create worn edges on your imported models. There are tons of ways you can use this trick to create different edge effects, but in this video, I'll be creating a worn away textured plastic on this key fob. As you can imagine, key fobs take on a lot of edge wear from handling. It's inevitable that using objects produces wear around any protruding or convex surfaces. To create this worn edge effect, you can build it using either a curvature texture, which I currently have selected from the multi-material list, or a contour texture, which I've just selected. As you can see, both methods produce very similar results. However, sometimes curvature provides just a bit more control over your edge effects, which I'll touch on a bit more in a moment. Let's start by getting our model's base material situated. First, open the material graph from the project window material tab. With the material graph open, you'll notice that my base material is very straightforward. I've applied a matte black paint material to my model from the material library and applied a noise texture to my material's bump input. To create my worn effect, I'll apply another black paint material as a label, in this case a gloss black material, since the effect I'm trying to recreate is a smoothing of the texture on any raised or convex edges. I'll then right click the material graph workspace and start by selecting contour from the texture flyout menu. Now, something important to account for when working with many of the features in Keyshot is that effects are driven by color values. For opacity, white means the effect is entirely turned off, while black means the effect is entirely turned on. This means that any area driven by a white color will appear with zero opacity on the label material, while the areas that are black will be completely transparent and the base material will be the visible material. For my contour texture, I'll start by connecting my contour node to the opacity input of my label material and hit the C key to enable preview color. I'll then invert the background and base color, and I'll adjust the contour settings until my color preview shows that my raised or positive curvature edges are white, while the flatter and more gradually curved surfaces are black. Again, hit the C key to now disable the preview color and let the scene res up to see the newly created effect. From this point, you can continue to adjust the contour settings to dial in your worn edge effect. To create this effect with a curvature node, I'll follow the same general steps. I'll make sure I have my label material applied over my base material. I'll add a curvature texture node from the flyout menu. I'll attach it to my opacity input and then hit the C key to enable preview color. With this texture node, you'll immediately notice that instead of the two black and white color options, there are now three which are red, white, and blue. Although you can use non-grayscale colors to drive your effects, changing the colors to grayscale values will make things a lot easier to work with. To do this, I'll change my negative curvature and zero curvature colors to black and the positive curvature to white. I'll then adjust my cutoff until I get the same results I did with my contour texture where my raised or curved edges are white and the flatter, more gradually curved surfaces are black. As I mentioned earlier, using curvature gives you just a bit more control over your effect than contour because you have three color options. This allows you to add a gray value to create a slightly more gradated or feathered wear effect if desired. Hopefully this quick tip gives you one more tool to create highly realistic weathering effects in Keyshot. And as always, if you're interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this quick tip in the comment section below.